tell me, with the season on the line against the Oakland A's, hopefully it'll be at Yankee Stadium, you're, you're, you're sure, everybody, you're sure that, that Luis Severino is your starter? I'm not, because right now, if the wild card game was played tomorrow, my starter would either be Jay Happ or Tanaka. I would not start Severino in a winner-take-all game. I just wouldn't. And, Don, you know this. Severino's one of my favorite pitchers ever. I, at the beginning of the year, I said he's one of the top five pitchers in baseball. You remember, we, we kind of talked yeah. back and forth about it. That's how much I think of Severino. But you can't tell me that that guy is the same pitcher that I think is awesome. He's not. He hasn't been for 10 or 11 starts. I mean, how, how can anybody see anything differently? I know. And we go back to yesterday's conversation, which I want to ask you about. When you said you ran into Boone and he was very confident and very relaxed and chill about this season and that when they're healthy, they believe they can beat anybody. Well, not knowing who's going to pitch your wild card game, having a catcher that can't catch, having a third baseman that's defensive liability, that has nothing to do with D.D. and Judge being out. These are legitimate concerns about this baseball team, and you just lost two out of three to a team that you're likely going to have to play, face in a one-game playoff. Granted, that game will be at Yankee Stadium, maybe. Maybe. But why exactly is there all this confidence when they get healthy? We're talking about major issues with this team that have nothing to do with health. It's it's a legitimate point. It, it, I just think that Boone has an unwavering belief right. in this team. That, but, but here's the problem. As I say at the start of every show, the date of the show... It's getting late early, as Yogi used to say. You can't keep thinking, well, things are going to work themselves out. Even Boone showed a little bit of that after the game. He said, we've got to start playing better. They do have to start playing better. Now, they'll get a reinforcement tomorrow. In all likelihood, D.D. Gregorius gets activated. And then you've got to wait on Chapman. And you've got to wait uh, on Judge. I think that Judge is going to come back. I think that Chapman's going to come back. I think Chapman will come back full bore. We have no idea what Judge is going to come back. That's a serious injury. He's coming back from a broken bone, and he's not going to have the benefit of any kind of rehab games. He's going to have to play simulated games, which is not the same as being on the field. So I think that that's what Boone is thinking. When we're fully loaded, we're beast. That's what he's thinking. But when your catcher is having a hard time catching the ball and your ace is not pitching at all like an ace, look at his ERA. Over the last five, six, seven, eight starts, it's not Luis Severino. And I'm not bashing the guy. I'm just making an observation. He is not the pitcher that he was at the beginning of the year. He's not even close to it. Anybody who's trying to sell you that is selling you a load of garbage. He's not that guy. Now, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know if it's fatigue. Everybody insists that it's not an injury, so you have to believe them. But... It must be fatigue. He's pitched a lot of innings over the last two years. His fastball doesn't have the hop. The slider does not have the downward drop that it used to have. And I, I, as an outside observer, there's no way, to me, it's a slam dunk that he would be the starter in the, in the wild card. And then if he is the starter, you really like the combination of him and Sanchez? No. Wow. Not where one mistake cost you your season.